Good day to you my friends, my name's Donato and welcome to today's daily show which is number 37 because today is Friday the 4th of January. Cue some titles! Good morning to you my friends. Today I'm going to talk to you about creating habits. Yes, this is number 37 of my daily vlog. So you could say I've formed a bit of a new habit, but in terms of today, Friday, here in the UK, I've been getting some great responses from uh, some of the uh, vlogs and I'll talk more about the cameras or whatever. You know, the new DJ Osmo Pocket. But today, look at that for a temperature. Is that in focus? Whoa, it's... It's uh, gone 10 a.m. here in the UK and it's still minus two degrees Celsius. Boy, it was cold this morning. Really cold when I was up for my uh, early morning run. And here's what happened in today's run because obviously <laughs> I've got to use the new gear, haven't I? Yeah. Ooh. Now, last time it was having trouble focusing because uh, it wasn't, it was tracking me. There you go. So here is the DJI Osmo. So uh, every opportunity I've got now, I'm going to be using this. And I just love it when it does this. When I switch it on, watch this. Watch. <laughs> oh yeah, how cool is that? Oh, I just love it, I love it, I love it. But uh, the biggest plus thing about this, before I go on to <laughs> what I've done this morning, this is what, so I've got a nice little pocket here. When I switch it off now, what watch what happens how so it's so cool this so the head turns to the position it needs to go in and i can just slip it straight into its pocket yeah how cool is that how cool is that eh? i love it i love it i mean dji really do think about these things so well done dji so this is what happened this morning during my run good morning guys so yes early morning start Normally like my morning runs, so I'm up pretty early. So I've always got my gear ready the uh, night before. So all I have to do is uh, pack it in the bag. Yeah. So yes, here's my bag full of gear. So I've got uh, running kit, change of gear. If I'm going to be running on the treadmill in the gym, I'll be a bit sweaty. So I need a change of clothing and then towel for the assume. So all of this into my lovely bag, which was uh, a goodie bag from uh, the Bedford Half Marathon. All goes in here and then we'll head off to the gym. So I'm now walking along the uh, high street so that, as you can probably see there's more uh, street lighting and so on. So again, be interesting to see how uh, this uh, footage comes out with the lighting. As you can see, when, when the uh, street light comes on me, it looks like my uh, face lights up. See how the camera compensates for all this, and also it'd be good to see how the sound works at the moment. Now, being so freezing cold, I've got some uh, thick gloves on, and I don't know whether my gloves are covering up the mic or not. So, that would be an un another interesting uh, take on this. So, hey, look, <gasps> Christmas tree, yes, it's still only oh. We're in the first week of January. Is it, is it the 6th of uh, January? The uh, Christmas decks traditionally are brought down. Yeah. Let's crack on to the gym. So guys, that's the uh, gym work done. A nice 55 minutes on the treadmill felt really, really good. Compared to uh, yesterday, the legs are feeling much better, much more easing into it. But then that's understandable why it'd be better than uh, yesterday. Because uh, straight after a uh, hard race, your legs are going to feel a bit tired, worn out. So it takes a number of days for them to get back into the swing of it, so to speak. So uh, yeah, that's uh, my run done. And as you can see now, it's daylight. Yeah! The sun has arisen, so let's go crack on and let's get to that work. Yeah, uh, work. <laughs> oh boy, it's uh, cold out here, so I'll pull the hood up. I thought I'd do a bit more recording because there's more traffic here. So I was just, I was very impressed yesterday, the other day, when I was out in uh, my garden, and the sound sounded really good. Yeah, considering some of the reviews, the early reviews was quite bad, but they've done a uh, 
firmware update and the sound is much improved so it'd be good to hear how my um, voice sounds over with all the, this traffic and if I hold it out at arm's length let's, uh, let's see how that sounds yeah rather than having it close like this yeah now that's really close so this, I'd expect the sound to be really good here and then over here how does it sound like am I am I actually shouting more who knows but yeah <laughs> leave the comments below what the sound check is like so yes guys did you did you enjoy that yeah bit of a treadmill run it was freezing conditions and as you know for me having the gym so close and I often do walk to the gym anyway, and um, whether it be an outdoor run or a treadmill run. So I thought, well, it's, it's freezing cold, it's pretty icy out there, so I don't want to risk anything. So I went uh, on the treadmill. Nice, uh, sweaty, sweaty, sweaty run. But yeah, thank you so much for everybody's comments for uh, yesterday's vlog. I mean, obviously, I'm not a gadget reviewer. This is a running channel. So I'm just talking from a perspective of a runner and uh, how I've been using this. Now, obviously, I'm... I'm I don't think I'm going to be bothering doing a comparison of the GoPro Hero 4 session and this because really it's like comparing bananas and apples or I nearly said cheese and biscuits um, but they're totally different uh, gadgets anyway and I'm not here to talk about the different gadgetry and I, as I said I'll be doing some more filming on this and uh, so far I'm well impressed it's a nice little diddy thing and I do appreciate everybody's feedback and to the point where I see that uh, a new running youtuber Julien has uh, gone out and splashed out on the GoPro Hero 7 so well done on that I hope you enjoy uh, on that and also um, <laughs> Andy Bowman welcome Andy welcome to the channel his comment on the he got, got this blog called the Dad Bog <laughs> Sorry, I'll get my words jumbled up. It is Friday. Um, Dad Bod Jog Vlog. I mean, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it, Andy? Come on. So, uh, brilliant stuff there. He, uh, he quite, yeah, it's a nice bit of kit. But my first impression is it does feel a bit weeny, weeny, weeny. So, uh, let's see how we get on with that. But, yeah, talking about creating habits. You could say that I've created a, a new habit. Um, research apparently says that if... If you've been doing something for 28 consecutive days, or is it 21 consecutive days, whatever it is, consecutive days you've been doing something, you've formed a new habit. So you could say, now I'm on number, uh, is it 36, 37? Let's, uh, let's see where I am at. Uh, yeah, today is 37. So I've been doing this now for 37 consecutive days. So you could say I've formed a new habit and I could stop this at any time now I don't know do you want me to stop this <gasps> shock horror <laughs> um, I know a lot of you guys do enjoy it and are coming here each and every day watching this and do enjoy it so I really do appreciate your thumbs up likes comments it is really good so you could say I've formed a habit so what I've done is sliced up in terms of some of the hints and tips of form forming a new habit because it is that time of year yeah whilst it's only the 4th of January um, there are people who've created New Year resolutions. Um, there's things called Red January, which is running every day, January. Although I think they've tweaked it a bit and it's all about being active, but it's still called Red January. And there's also Tri January, T R I, which is for triathlon, taking up triathlon type stuff. There's Dry January, where you, you don't drink any alcohol. There's Veganuary, where you can be a vegan every day in January. I was thinking of inventing this thing and a, and a few years ago I had this idea of Faduary where you just take up a new fad and see how long you last in that month of January or February. Which leads me on to that I'm thinking of uh, an idea of being bad in February. You may recall over a year ago um, and for me when I started my uh, initial campaign of 55 Alive, turning 55, it's all about being alive and being active. And my dad next week will be 90, yeah? 90 years old so uh, I've learnt a lot from me dad in terms of how to remain um, fit healthy throughout our lives and I might share some hints and tips on uh, living a long happy healthy life because after all isn't that what we want we want to be happy yeah speaking of happy <gasps> got my tea different mug today I know I know you like my Union Jack uh, keep calm and carry on type thing but uh, this one's a much bigger mug so yeah it's it's lemon and ginger again mm. So yes, isn't it all about doing something that we're, we, we're happy with? 
Now, I really thoroughly enjoy doing uh, these daily vlogs. It's, it's great fun for me. It breaks up the day from uh, my daily routine and it's something new for me. And in a way, that's how I started the running. You know, the running sort of breaked up, broke, breaked, broke up the day for me and gave me something to look forward to whilst I do my runs first thing in the morning. It's a great way of uplifting me spirit, soul and everything and I feel really good and I go into work with a fresh vim and vigour ready to, and often in the offices that I've worked in, people often ask, I want to have what Donato's on, yes. And basically I'm just on happy, happy life, yeah. I don't take any drugs or alcohol or whatever to stay happy. I'll just have a nice cup of tea and a run, yeah. <gasps> So forming a habit, I've, I mean, there are statistics out there. Maybe you'd like to share some comments below. What are the statistics of people who set New Year resolutions? How many days they last, those resolutions? Now, for me, I, you, as I've said many, many times, you can set a resolution any day, any month, any any year. You can, you can start today. You can start now, whenever you're watching this, whilst today is Friday the 4th of January, with the wonders of YouTubes, you probably won't be looking at this. The majority of you, whilst there's, there's a handful who do watch this each and every day, at the moment that it gets published, which is fantastic. So make sure you click on the alarm bell if you have subscribed so you do get notified when these do happen. But there's going to be a lot of people who are going to come here in many years to come, and it won't be Friday the 4th of January 2019. It will be another day. But you can start right here, right now, and form a new habit. The key things for me in terms of forming a new habit. It's got to be something you want to do. Do you really want to do it? Yeah. If you really want to do something or give something up, like if you want to give up alcohol for the month, do you really want to do it? Yeah. And, and then it comes down to if you really do want to do it, if you want to give up smoking, do you really want to do it? Yeah. Because if you enjoy doing something and you want to give it up, then that's going to be tough. It's a bit like changing habits, you know, changing um, my understanding for people, it's change is, is a difficult thing for a lot of us to do and we're often very resistant to change. You know, for example, I've been used to filming with this for a number of years, yeah? So I'm pretty resistant to change to filming with this. And I'm sure a lot of people who are used to using certain gear and changing to new gear, it's, it's difficult, yeah? And I can understand that. And that's, that's human nature. It's, it's difficult to change things. So how can we do things to help us to form these new healthy habits? Because obviously being active on a daily basis is, is a healthy habit. You know, one of the tips I've picked up uh, from my dad, he's, he is active every day, every day. He doesn't run every day. He doesn't go swimming every day. He doesn't go cycling every day. Yeah, so he doesn't do the triathlon thing. He's not doing red, but he's, he's active every day and I can go through some things on there. And one idea that I have, and I'll come to that in, in the end, that you can all join in with if you'd like to join in with me. And we'll start a new craze, yeah? Forget January, it's all about February. But anyway, yeah, more about that later. But create then a habit. You've, it's got to be something you want to do. Do you really want to do it? But the key thing of really wanting to do it is more going back to the why. Is why are you doing this? Why, why do you want to start a resolution? Why do you want to create a habit? You know, why are you doing it? And for a lot of people, when it's been active and physically active, it's for our well-being and our mental health. And maybe you might, might want to lose some weight. I don't know. Th those are the whys that we can have. And then it's, are you going to enjoy doing what you do? Yeah. So for all those things in terms of being active physically for our physical well-being, for our mental well-being, and also for our health if you want to lose weight. There's a number of things that we can do about being active to, to bring those about. It doesn't have to be running, it doesn't have to be swimming or cycling every day. You can do what, what you want to do. Now when I looked at doing these daily vlogs, it was literally just a spur of the moment thing. And once I started, I thought, well, I better keep going. And like with forming a lot of new habits, there was days and where I didn't feel like doing it. But in a way, because I was forming that habit, there was something in my brain saying, I've got to get up, yeah? I've got to put the camera on. Well, I'm already up here, <laughs> so I'm up. <laughs> There's a given. Let's put the camera on the uh, old tripod and let's switch it on and let's just record something. So, oh, apologies for that. The uh, 
battery and flat, so I had to put in a, a new battery. <laughs> That's the thing with talking a fair bit on the... As we're filming, yeah, as continually talking, I don't notice the uh, battery indicator uh, going down or whatever. But anyway, we're back, we're back. So yeah, in terms of forming that habit, is once I, the, as I mentioned, there, are, there were days where I didn't feel like doing the filming for the uh, daily vlog, but once I started, there was something inside me sort of compelling to uh, keep going, and I've kept going, and thanks to the help and support of you guys, it's, I've, I'm still here. So, you know, which leads, leads me on to the third topic of how to keep a habit, and that is to include other people with what you're endeavouring to do. And I remember a friend of mine quite a few years ago where she was looking to give up smoking and she tried many a times but failed. Um, but with my help, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah, some people call me the guru of all types of things, but it's more of a joke, yeah, it's a parody, yeah, got that? Uh, British comedy. But yeah, she, she called me uh, a bit of a guru and, and what I was doing was each day we would uh, message each other and it was basically just to say, no cigarettes, yeah? So each day, for the 28 days, 21 days, no cigarettes. So she was reaffirming to me and I was helping her in a, like a, a support group, yeah? There was, she wasn't reverting to, excuse me while I scratch my eyes. Ooh, bit of an itch. So uh, it wasn't, uh, she didn't revert to social media or posting things. I know some people do revert to that, which is another way of doing it, if that works for you. Um, but for some people, it's it's seen as maybe a bit too much pressure or putting peer pressure on, on people. So literally for me and my friend, it's just between me and her, and she would message me. And I think she hadn't even told her uh, partner that uh, she was had gone back to uh, smoking a few uh, before that. Um, but uh, it's funny how sometimes we can we can hide things away from our close loved ones. But over that time, she obviously chose me, and we worked together in terms of helping her give up smoking. And once you've given up for a certain number of days, you don't have a need for it and it's it's gone. Yeah, you forget it. And uh, a bit like maybe for some people them um, giving up alcohol. Once uh, you start and it's getting into the habit and maybe being with peer groups and people who are in the same group. That's why I think um, at the moment, and I'm not here to endorse any of these organizations or whatever, but there's many organizations out there that uh, help people with weight loss. And that's why it works for some people out there that they're out there sharing the same thing and they've all got the same common things and going through that. So having a group, which is say my third tip, is having a group or an individual that you are answerable to. And some people use me in terms of their running training. And as I said, I've started doing one-to-ones with people and coaching, mentoring with that, is that having someone accountable to. So whilst I, I can talk here on YouTubes, those of you who are watching this, not, none of you are accountable to me in any way, yeah? Um, maybe we can make you accountable, yeah? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Leave some comments below. But um, yeah, so in terms of the mentoring, what I'm endeavouring to say is that with people messaging contact each and every day, it helps making keeping people, keeping them in line basically and making sure that they're not uh, deviating from that habit that they want to form. But if you haven't got the something doing that you actually enjoy, which is the what, what, what are you looking to do that will help you form that habit, but going back to the other one is the why, you know, why you're doing it in the first place. I think the three won't work together and there's a lot of things that come in threes. So the key secrets is why you're doing it, what are you going to do to help you achieve the whys, yeah? So what are you going to do? And I would highly recommend it's something that you're going to enjoy to do. So if you are giving up something, you need to fill it with something else. So if you're going to give up um, certain types of foods, right now I'm working my way through <laughs> these yummies. Yeah, now I'm not creating a habit of eating chocolate. These aren't, I don't know if it's focusing on there, yeah. These aren't any ordinary biscuits. These are M&S. Chocolate biscuits. Mm -mm. So I'm not forming a new habit of eating chocolates. It's a Christmas present. I'll just slowly working my way through. I can take it or leave it with the chocolates. But uh, it's something that uh, you want to do and that you enjoy. So as I said, if you are giving up something, if you're giving up chocolate, if you're giving this, what are you replacing it with? Because for me, when I used to eat a lot of chocolate, and you might have seen my old picture where I was a bit of a big guy, um, 
I was used to snacking and eating certain things, so I carried on snacking, but I changed it to healthy snacks, yeah? To stuff that wasn't um, adding to uh, my weight or calorific intake or reducing that. So what are you gonna do to replace it that you enjoy, yeah? And, uh, and I see so many people where they're looking to um, lose weight and they replace the uh, old habits with something that they don't really enjoy. And in a way, I think that's why sometimes the, uh, the weight loss program doesn't work, that they're doing something that they don't enjoy. So find something that you enjoy. And then the third one, which is maybe key to a lot of people, is find someone or some people who you can be with, work with, that will help you and encourage you on your journey that, to form that habit. And I really do truly believe that once you form that habit, whether it be 21 days, 28 days, personally I think once you've been going over say five, 10 days consecutively, that you have then formed a habit that you can keep for the rest of your life. And hopefully, and that's how it works. It's, it's not rocket science, I don't think. You know, I may do a series on the KISS, K-I-S-S, um, which for those of you who know, it's keep it simple, stupid. Um, yeah, I work on the KISS principle. I can be pretty stupid at times, but I like to keep it simple. And that's how I keep the running training simple. Everything for me has to be simple because if it's too complicated, then I ain't gonna do it. Would you agree? Leave your comments below on your thoughts and uh, ideas of maybe how you formed a new habit or how you've been able to stop something um, that wasn't a good habit and you formed a new habit. I'd love to hear from you guys because obviously me talking to the camera, it's a bit of a one-way conversation, but I do love reading the comments. And by the way, one of the comments that real tickled me uh, yesterday was from Joanne Brown, who lives out in Adelaide. Thank you for rubbing in the temperature. I think it's 41, yeah, what did you say? 41 Celsius in uh, Adelaide, in Australia. Oh, whilst here it's minus two Celsius. Thankfully, I've got central heating in the house, so uh, it's nice and warm. Anyway, without further ado, I bid you farewell. So thank you so much for tuning in to, uh, to today's show. I really do appreciate the time that you take watching each and every day and leaving those wonderful comments and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Saturday the 5th of January where I'll be talking about something I haven't worked out what I'm going to talk about tomorrow but it'll be following on which uh, is more about the uh, February and being being really bad on February being a bit of a badass so I'll be talking more about that tomorrow and creating a habit that will help us as a group form new wonderful things so thank you so much so wherever you are, whatever you do, have a great Friday, Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, -bye, -bye. Oh yeah. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Right, so it looks like it's gonna be not the GoPro. <laughs> yes, did you crack that off? I was just thinking on my feet there. Well, I'm on my butt right now, but you know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway, ladies, guys, bye-bye.